Hello. The purpose of today's video is to talk about calculating the Ka and pH of weak acids. When we talk about calculations involving weak acids, there are a series of steps that we're going to follow. The first of those steps, which is common to any type of problem we're going to encounter, is that we want to write the reaction of the acid with water. We want to, of course, make sure that reaction is balanced. The second step is to make an ice table for that reaction. This is going to include constructing the correct Ka expression for the balanced equation we wrote in the first step. From there, the steps vary a bit depending on the type of problem that you are being asked to solve. We'll look at two types today. The first type, if you are given the pH and asked to find the Ka, then you will use the pH to find the equilibrium concentration of H3O+. You'll plug that value as well as the known initial values into the ice table. In other words, you won't use an X here. You will solve for the equilibrium concentrations using stoichiometry, and you will plug those equilibrium concentrations into the Ka expression to solve for Ka. The second type of problem occurs if you are given the Ka and asked to find the pH. In this scenario, your ice table will involve an X. You will use the X values that you determine for the equilibrium concentrations and plug those into the Ka expression to solve for X. X will be equal to the concentration of the hydronium ion, or H3O+, and so the negative log of the H of X, or the H3O plus concentration, will then give you the pH. Let's look at an example of each of these problem types. Let's start by calculating the Ka of a weak acid. So we have a 0 0.100 weak acid solution that has a pH of 3.75, and we want to find the Ka. In this case, our weak acid is generically abbreviated HA. So, HA plus H2O yields H3O plus and A minus. There's our reaction. And the Ka expression for this reaction is the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of A minus, all divided by the concentration of HA. The next step is to make an ice table for this reaction, where ice, of course, stands for initial change and equilibrium. Now let's insert what we know, which are the initial concentrations for HA, that's 0 0.100. Water is irrelevant in the equilibrium calculation because it's a liquid. H3O plus and A minus are both initially at zero. To go any further, we need to calculate the equilibrium concentration of H3O plus, and that concentration can be found by taking 10 to the minus pH, or in this case, 10 to the minus 3.75, which equals uh, 1.8 times 10 to the minus 4 molar. So this is the equilibrium amount of uh, H plus. If that's the equilibrium amount we initially started with 0, the change amount must be plus 1.8 times 10 to the minus 4 molar. And because the stoichiometry between H3O plus and A minus is 1 to 1, the change amount for A minus must also be plus 1.8 times 10 to the minus 4, which means its equilibrium concentration is also 1.8 times 10 to the minus 4. Conversely, for HA, if the equilibrium concentration for H3O plus, or the change, sorry, for H3O plus and A minus is plus 1.8 times 10 to the minus 4, for HA it must be minus 1.8 times 10 to the minus 4, but 0.100 minus 
1.8 times 10 to the minus 4, if you follow the rules of significant figures, simply gives you 0 0.100. So the concentration of HA does not change significantly during this process. Now that we have the equilibrium concentrations for HA, H3O plus, and A minus, we can plug those into Ka and solve. So for the Ka expression, we have 1.8 times 10 to the minus 4 times 1.8 times 10 to the minus 4 on the top, or 1.8 times 10 to the minus 4 squared, and on the bottom, 0 0.100. If you throw that into your trusty calculator and solve, you'll get an answer for a Ka value of 3.2 times 10 to the minus 7 for this 0.1 molar weak acid solution with a pH of 3.75. Now let's move to our second problem, and let's calculate the pH of a weak acid. In this case, we're going to ask what is the pH of 0 0.200 molar formic acid, which has a Ka of 1.80 times 10 to the minus 4. Again, the first step is going to be to write the reaction of the acid with water. And again, that's an equilibrium process. Our two products, H3O plus and CHO2 one minus. We can write the Ka expression for this reaction. We got the concentration of H3O plus and CHO2 one minus on top, and the concentration of the acid HCHO2 on the bottom. The next step is to make our ice table. So let's do that here. Again, initial change equilibrium or what ice stands for. What do we know? Uh, well, we know the initial concentration of the acid was 0 0.200. The initial concentration of H plus, H0 plus is 0. The initial concentration of CHO2 1 minus is 0. So we plug those values in. We do not know the change or equilibrium values here, and we do not know how to determine them. We don't, know how, we don't have any way to get an, a numeric answer for what they are, so we're going to have to use X. So... We're going to say that the concentration of H3O plus increases by some value, call it plus X, and therefore so does the concentration of CHO2 minus increase by some value, call it X. The concentration then of HCHO2, formic acid, will decrease by some value, call it X. And so at equilibrium, for the acid, we'll have 0 0.200 minus X. For H3O plus, we will simply have X. And for CHO2, one minus, we will have X. This leads us, if we plug these into an equilibrium uh, constant expression of 1.8 times, 1.80 times 10 to the minus 4, equaling X squared over 0 0.200 minus x. And if you were to try to solve this as is, you would run into a quadratic equation. We can avoid this scenario because x in this case is suitably small. If you look at the value of the initial concentration and the value of Ka being 1 times 10 to the minus 1.8 times 10 to the minus 4, it's fair to assume here that X is relatively small. If X is small, this expression simplifies to X squared over 0 0.200. In other words, the minus X term is dropped from the denominator. If you uh, solve for X here, you're going to get X equals the square root here of 3.60 times 10 to the minus 5 molar. 
And the square root of 3.60 times 10 to the minus 5 equals 0 0.00600 molar. So that's your value of x. The pH equals the negative log of that value, or the negative log of x which in this case turns out to be 2.222. I hope this video clarifies some of the calculations involved with weak acids.